Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 26, part 10 of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2. But before we get started, I want to say thank you so much for the 200 subscribers. It really helps me out so much for this channel, and I hope to basically get 200 more eventually. But anyways, in this episode, we are basically going to continue on with transporting supplies to the various airports, as well as making money to basically pay off our debt. But thankfully, though, our first loads of fuel have been picked up and are now heading towards Delhi. Which, along with food, will be a new commodity that will be arriving in a matter of moments. Our train of steel is still going. There's 49 foodstuffs on this train. Our express has 30 passengers, surprisingly. And our fuel train has 40 units. That's pretty good. At the same time, our fishery is starting to basically produce fish, though I think Coco may not actually have enough strength to handle these trains. So, I'm afraid I'll have to replace it with the Fillmore and Western 280 instead. I'll take out another loan to buy this engine. And capable of going over 55 miles an hour, it should be good enough. We have 35 units of fuel, which is great. And our first loads of food have finally arrived. Well, there's no foodstuffs on board, but we got our first loads of fuel heading for the Constantinople airfield. That train of food is still being picked up here, but that's bound for Tehran. The other one for the airfield in uh, Delhi is on its way, but no food being brought towards uh, Constantinople. I guess I'll have to transport it in by road, I think. I mean, it is being produced. There is food being produced with fish so far, so I'm pretty sure a simple trucking operation between the food processing plant and the airfield would hurt too much. That way we can reserve our delivery loads of tools as well as food and fuel to the airfield. We'll have to basically set up our first new European route for a while. I'll be copying this and putting this in as European Mainland A well actually E for Europe and this is going to be D. Wait, hang on. F for France. Uh, I think I'm just gonna put it as E M A because of this, and it's going to be food stuffs. It's gonna be green, full load, ten minutes, and I'm gonna get some Benz trucks to pick up those loads. I'll buy them, and put them to work. Yes, yeah, still have fish being processed, but the shipment isn't going up pretty well. There's fish still being produced, but not as much as it used to. I might as well just turn this train around and get some of this fish delivered so it ate could basically increase my profits. My local train is doing well, has a good amount of money. My express train between Lyon, France and Constantinople has 52 passengers waiting at the platform. Though this train is waiting for... Oh, great. Another traffic jam. Ugh. So annoying. I'll just set a. I'll just set one of these signals. Hmm. Actually, maybe I could put it super close to here and same for this. That could work. I'm not so sure. It just needs enough room for this train to clear the switch. All right. 
right. At least it's worked. For now. Hmm. I don't get it. How come food is not being loaded up and brought here? Seriously, I can deliver food here to this airfield. Uh, it's gonna be a while before that plane can basically take off. Which? Where is that food? Oh, right, I forgot. I have a food train that's supposed to pick up the food from the harbor here. Hopefully that ship of fish has arrived. Wait, what? It hasn't even delivered any fish? Oh, jeez. Hmm, where's another location I could bring in foodstuffs? It needs either grain, livestock, rice, or fish to produce food. Hmm. Maybe I could basically bring out a little more money by delivering grain from Damascus all the way to that food processing plant. That freight that my third foodstuffs train in the Middle East goes to. Let's see. No catenary. Some quadrant signals in place. And basically, we'll copy this one. But this will be known as B1, because it's going to be the first train of carrying grain. And then I'm just going to do the same here, B2. Dark blue. Pick up grain at Damascus East. And then carry them all the way to Tunis here. As for the fact that there's going to be more than one train serving this track, I'll have to build up a double section track. And then connect both ends. There we go. I'll have to place down this here. And then do this. And then do this. And for the train itself, train 32, this requires about 22.4 million credits to buy. Ugh. So much for building a profitable business, I have to basically spend a lot of money on my trains. Well, at least now that the farming Damascus can now start producing more grain bound for more destinations. As the level is actually starting to increase, so that means more grain should basically start being produced. The factory still has food that needs to be picked up. Speaking of which... Oh! Well, there's already plenty of tools, food, and fuel already. It shouldn't basically be too much of a problem to increase the capacity. Still plenty of crude oil being processed into refined oil. Let's see. I think it's also high time to get the rest of the local passenger trains set up, too. We already got one here into uh, Damascus, but we don't have one stretching out towards India. We'll set up another service and take it into Tehran. This will be local tr passenger train M E. F. I'm going to also copy the text, create a new route, and it will travel from Tehran all the way to here, to Delhi Station. This is going to be G, and it's going to have a gray coat as well. 
then I'll have to buy two of those trains to basically make the run. And since there's already an express that travels to Constantinople, there's no need for a local passenger train. Speaking of which, the train F could basically run on track 4. And I don't even have a local service from here all the way to Damascus. So I'll connect this as well, and it will be on platform 3. I'm going to copy this, and it's going to be known as M-E-J. Well, local train M-E-H. Alright, that train has earned some money. Now for the new services, which is F, G, and H, I'll need three more of the local passenger train consists. Which, again, which will be an Atlantic 442 steam locomotive, as several of these New Zealand Railway 47 foot passenger cars. And a 40 foot guards van on the rear. This will cost me about 49 million credits to buy. I might have to sell off my entire vehicle fleet if I'm gonna basically get all the money back. And I'm hoping that's not the case. Buy all three and put them to work. You go to F, you go to G and H. There we go. Now our passenger services have greatly increased, though we have no express service here at Damascus. Though we could operate another express train running all the way from Delhi to Madrid. So we'll connect. The station of Delhi, go through Tehran, go to Damascus, Alexandra, Tunis, finally rolling into Madrid and doing the same procedure on the return run. basically also binds me to another problem. I only have one type of express train in service. Plus that express has that Pacific type. And I can't clone another Pacific. Plus, this is gonna be a service known as Del the to Madrid. And now I've got to basically set up the platforms for this service. You go through Damascus on uh, track one. Alexandra, you're on track one as well. Tanus, you are going on track one as well. And on the return trip, you're going on track 2. In Madrid, you are going to track 1 as well for the regular express. Now then, let's see. What train can I get to operate on this version of the express? Hmm. Let's see. There's the Class S, C, X, H, the Mogul, the American... Hmm. Well, I think I could operate a Great Northern Atlantic on this train. I'll just need a couple of these passenger cars again. One coach. Well, one baggage car, two coaches, a diner, a parlor, two sleepers, and an observation. That will grab me around 36 million credits. Let's basically 
get it up to 37. And that will be my 50th trade. This is going to be the most expensive run I have ever made. Plus, with the specific Atlantic's colors, it will be a very unique express train. Because passengers will now have a chance to ride the train all the way towards Madrid, Spain, and not have to worry about interchanging for an express bound for Lyon. Because we already have a local passenger service from Europe already, and that's serving Lyon. Though I think we'll have to copy this text as well, because I needed an express that could also run through Madrid. We'll pick up passengers in Madrid, head to Vienna, then head into Constantinople. Then back into Vienna again. Oops, wrong color. It's going to be EMB, which is Madrid to Constantinople. As for the engine to operate this train, I think the A35 type would be a good locomotive for this operation. And the same passenger cars used on other express trains on the game, dark blue variants of those coaches. I'll need, let's see, I'll need a baggage coach, some third class, and some third class. 21.9 million. The train 51, and let's put it to work. Gotta say, my little version of the Orient Express actually looks pretty good. Anyway, fuel and tools have finally arrived, but now it just needs foodstuffs. The factory isn't producing any food that's bound by the roads, as none of my trucks are picking it up for some reason. As for the foodstuffs in general, it's supposed to be picked up here. But it's just not filling up for some reason. Ah, oh, at last, here comes the ship with a full load of food. Well, a full load of fish that can be processed into food. I just need enough food to get this train, well, get the plane flying again. And some of the other airports have already been filling up with tools, food, and other supplies. This one needs tools, and this one needs tools as well. And why is it dropping off food here? It's just dropping off supplies. No. And it's not picking up anything either. Uh... Anyway, there is actually one passenger heading towards Tehran, surprisingly, on my new express, which is great. One passenger boarding my express, that's one, well, rather than constant normal in Madrid express service. That's good. And... Why is my train being filled up with fish? I don't want fish. I need foodstuffs. Ay. Well, it's slowly being processed. At least I might be able to get some units of food on board. Albeit, if small. Hmm. Well, I am basically dropping off stuff here, so I'm pretty sure one of the trains will be picking up fish. 
taking it back somewhere. Speaking of which, this train actually made a profit of delivering fish. Uh, about 1.53 million credits. With grain and fish now together, it should produce a lot more food. ME1 is still waiting to pick up more food. The factory is still producing tools, but there's no steel waiting. Well, no steel arriving. Speaking of which, where is that train anyway? It only has 112 units of steel? Jeez, I need more steel, more coal and iron ore. Train A, B, Asia B is basically transporting loads of iron ore, but not enough. Well, at least some tools have finally arrived at the airfield there. All it just needs is to deliver some tools by road. Which, I don't get why this truck service is not delivering any tools here. Is it really trying to tell me I can't deliver tools by a road because... I don't know. Ugh. This is so confusing. <laughs> well, at least some foodstuffs have finally arrived by road. Jeez. How difficult it was for just a truck to be loaded with just one unit of food, for goodness sake. Hopefully, food units of food will be enough to get to the next airport, which is located in Tehran. There's still fish being produced. Speaking of which, there is six foodstuffs on board of this train, but it needs to be dropped off, though. Alright, one unit of food, one, three units of, of, well, fuel, and one unit of tools, we should be able to get flying very soon. Now, let's see, I need to have a look. Uh, let's see. I think it's the Vickers Vimy. It's so confusing on this one. Let's see. Tehran from Constantinople. Okay, 1.354 meters. Just needs a little more food. It's gonna be a while before the food arrives, but I'm gonna cut this video right here and I'll see you all in a moment once the food arrives at the airfield. And we're back. After a short stint, we had finally delivered enough food and supplies to deliver to our next location. I believe the closest airport that we can actually fly to from here is actually Tehran. We can't fly all the way to Delhi. So, we're forced to fly to Delhi for now, so we're not limited to the short hops. Alright, our plane is taking off, curving to the left, and heading straight for Tehran. And thankfully, there's already plenty of supplies waiting down at the Tehran airport that needs to be built up. We already got some tools being processed, it's already food and fuel waiting to be loaded up. But however, the tool thing, that's a bit of a problem. Our trucks couldn't basically deliver any of the tools at all, so I had to improvise by making a small freight train to pick up the tools and then just bring them to the station with a little rail shuttle or something. 
already August and we're entering in September. We only have three months left to get this mission finished. We're cutting it close. But thankfully, since we're not didn't fly over water, we should be okay for now. Our plane will take us down in Tehran. And since we don't have all the needed supplies in the airport, our plane cannot fly beyond that. So, our plane is once again stopped. But thankfully though, there is tools waiting to be picked up by NG3 Tools, which is this little train that I'm using to pick up those tools with a little brake van behind it. But, I think we'll basically see the results of the plane flying once again when we head to the next episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport B2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my own set schedule. And, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!